Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Friday, November 6th. Yay! So God bless you all today. I hope you have a great day at school. I hope you have a great day at work. Just no matter what you do, I just hope you have a great and blessed day. Uh, we have a new advisory coming up, and as you see, it has done another turn on to the north and northeast from the Gulf. So that is the newest thing. And it is showing that it will be a tropical storm as of noon today. And we have tropical storm warnings for the Cayman Islands. Now, if we look at our, our velocity potential, we still show our velocity potential for what we have now. But I still show we have a bigger one still coming somewhere from the 15th to the 18th, guys. So let's keep our eyes open on it. I didn't go that far ahead to see what was going on. But we, I will check it out another time. Now, if we see what the, the, the possibility from EPS cyclones of a tropical storm potential, it does show they have more of a potential for it forming a tropical storm 72 hours from now uh, as it gets past the Cayman Islands. It does show you have a 80%, 80 to 85 before it gets, uh, right when it gets over Cuba. So, but it does show that you have a good percentage for it to be a tropical storm when it gets to this point. And then when you get later and it moves, it shows that it will stay a tropical storm. It will actually strengthen within five days, and then it will weaken and, and move its way away. So we'll see how much that is true with only time. Now, when I checked the Euro model to see which what was going on with the wave height, uh, if you look, you'll see that Cayman Islands, you look like you're only going to get about maybe nine, nine foot waves. But as it moves away, it starts strengthening, and on your east side, we'll get about 10-foot waves as it moves away for you. Uh, Jamaica, it looks like you're not going to be getting much waves, if anything, you know, 8, 9 feet, but it'll be too far away for you to probably notice. But if you go all the way up to 90 hours, you'll see that Florida starts to get swamped uh, with anywhere from 17 feet down to 10 feet along the east side of Florida. So be aware of that, please. Now, when I go to Coamps and C, they're the ones that did recognize that there is going to be some intensification going on. They are showing the same thing as the other model. There is going to be intensification over Cuba, but they're saying it's not going to be a tropical storm. They're showing that it will actually get up to a Cat 1 hurricane, and then it will go back down and weaken. So that's a good thing it will weaken, but it does show it will have a chance to get strong. Now, here's all the model uh from coamps to see exactly where you think it could where they, where they think it could go and a lot of them do show that, that left turn but at the end of the left turn you see they do another turn in the gulf i, I do show that texas louisiana mississippi y'all y'all all okay and then when you look at the initial guidance uh this one's from tropical tidbits remember don't take this as a official forecast but they do show that they do go down in intensity for about two or three of them but the majority of them show that it will go up to a possible Cat 1 hurricane or get real close to it. But within five days, it does show that it will just be a tropical storm. And five days is about when it gets near everybody, uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Florida. Y'all going to be feeling that. And here's the track according to uh, Levi Cowan on Tropical Tidbits. And it shows that it will do a sharp turn on some of the models. So I'm sure it will be a late turn. And there is going to be another turn back to the east. Because this, this storm is getting swamped by a high pressure on the left, a high pressure on the right. And it's getting squeezed in the middle. So one does show that it curves right back towards Florida immediately. So we got to keep our eye on that as well. Now as far as the cyclone locations, when we go to the GEFS and see what the locations are, it does show that it will be majority of them. A 980 millibar uh, storm as it passes by the Cayman Islands. And then one shows that there actually is going to be intensification to 960 millibars as it crosses Cuba, goes by Florida. And then as you get towards the five days, you see it does a little loop and goes back towards the Gulf. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how that plays out. Now, here's your, your low, low pressure systems as far as where they could be within the 120 hours. And you'll see they all show majority that it is this location, it is this path. None of them really branch out until you get past this point. Now, once you get to this point, you'll see that it starts to get into a 977 millibar potential, uh, 973 before Florida. So that would be a hurricane if it would happen. 
and it would be a hurricane going over Florida, and it's still a 974, so it'd stay a hurricane strength the whole time. Uh, Cat 1, of course, going across Florida. And then when you get to the 120 hours, which is the five days, it shows that some break off and turn east, but it shows that there is some strengthening possibilities if it gets far enough west. And this is showing 967 on that one, 963, 961, and then it starts weakening going back to the east. And these are the possibilities, and then it breaks off right, right after six, seven days, and then it comes back. So we don't know how long these are going to be true or which model is the correct model. That's why I'm showing you all of them. And as far as the total precipitation for the next five days, according to the GEFS, it's still showing the same information that anywhere from five to seven inches for the Cayman Islands, you have a possibility for eight because you are on the edge. And for uh, Jamaica, it is showing that all you're going to get is anywhere from two to four inches, even possibility of one to four inches on the north side. So be aware of that. Uh, Bahamas, you're still showing that you're going to get anywhere from five to six inches for central Bahamas, two to four inches for northern Bahamas. And southern Florida also showing that you get anywhere from five to seven inches. Uh, central Florida, you're going to be anywhere from two to four. And northern is going to be anywhere from one to three. So we'll see how far you know that stays true. Now, if we watch with the humidity, we can see exactly what happens with this dry air on this system. And you can see the system is right here in this thread. And what we really need is for this dry air to wrap around, because you can see it's blocked by the high pressure. And we need this dry air to wrap around this system and choke it out. And it looks like it's starting to do a good job. It gets all the way around to where it can't come back to the east. So it has nowhere else to go but to north and northeast to go back out. But it gets choked fairly well, and it gets squished by these two high pressures as it moves up the east coast and dies off. And if it does that, it will be weak for y'all, maybe a weak tropical storm, tropical depression, if that is true. But it's too far away to really follow it to see if it, if it is the right track, first of all. Now, here's the Euro model. The Euro model is showing it will go right over the Cayman Islands as a weak tropical storm to a strong tropical storm. It all depends. We're still a few days away. It's not showing a hurricane for the Florida. It is showing a western push. And then this right here is the five days. Now, if we go past the five days just to be curious and see what happens, it looks like it starts heading towards Mississippi, Alabama, but it dies, and it dies off. So that is good news. And here's the way it looks with your precipitation. Now, if you look within the first 24 hours, you can see who's in the rainfall. You're in light rain, Jamaica, heavy rain for Cayman Islands. And if you go another 24 hours, you can see, according to the Euro, that you're about to get heavy rain on the west side of Jamaica, and Cayman Islands is almost in the clear. You'd be in the clear 54 hours. It will be past your Cayman Islands. And then it may hit a little bit more of Jamaica as it goes. But then it heads towards Bahamas in 72 hours, according to Euro. And central Bahamas, you're going to get heavy rainfall. And then it does go west over, over South Florida. And you get heavy rainfall in South Florida right there in 84 hours away. But then when it moves across and it goes into the Gulf, and that's the five days look right there. Now, as you go past the five days, you can see the precipitation, where it goes, who gets affected. It looks like you're going to get some rain as far as uh, Alabama, uh, Georgia, South, and maybe North Carolina. We don't know how much yet because we don't know if this track is true. That's just what I'm showing with this model right now. But the total precipitation, I go all the way up to the five days, you can see that it is a lot lighter than a GEFS is saying. You still got the same amounts for Cayman Islands, the same amounts for Jamaica, except you got a, a, a you got an option or, or uh, to get more rainfall on the west side of Jamaica on a, on a Euro than you do have the GEFS. This is showing you can get another inch or two more on the west side. But all the other uh, levels all show the same thing as, as far as the GEFS and the Euro as well. Now, when we go through the GFS, the GFS showed that it went faster. It showed that within 36 hours, it's going to be over the Cayman Islands, and it's going to be zooming. I mean, literally. And in 60 hours, it's going to be over the, over the Bahamas, and it's going to be strengthening to a possible hurricane. Because it's getting down to 982 millibars, 981, just by millibars on the, on the scale, that's hurricane strength. We just don't know the winds yet, because we don't know if this track, once again, is true. But the GFS is showing the same thing, that it does go straight over southern Florida into the Gulf. 
that they, that's kind of seemed like a, a, a path. Uh, some places are showing that it will actually turn and it does die down. That's a good thing. Some some models do show that it will turn right here off of Western Cuba before it even goes anywhere, but it's not showing consistency with anybody else, so I didn't show that. Now, the GFS V16 parallel, this is the one that showed that it went fast. It gave heavy rainfall for Cayman Islands. You're getting heavy rainfall in 42 hours for Jamaica, but it does pass y'all quickly, and it is gone within 60 hours. No more to worry about. But then it gets into the Bahamas, and it goes across Florida, and it starts twirling around. And when you get to the five days looks, on a five day, it looks like it gets close to uh, the Florida panhandle, and then it gets pushed out, and you get some rain in Georgia, some rain in South Carolina, and some rain in North Carolina as well, and a little bit of Virginia while it pushes away. And that's according to the GFS V16. Now, if we look and see what's going on with the low-pressure system, see how much power it's going to have. It is showing tropical storm all the way around. It is showing tropical storm uh, hitting South Florida. So that's a good thing. That's way better than a hurricane. And then it goes into Gulf, and they all show the same thing. They're going to curve to the right. Some show it strengthens. Some show it weakens. This one shows that you'll have a tropical storm. Uh, northern Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and it may be a tropical depression for North Carolina as it goes out. Now, that's the GFS V16. And for the Korean model, the Korean model did show something different. That's why I brought it up. It did show, and it kept showing for a while, that there's going to be a Fujiwara effect off a low-pressure system. And this one shows that it swings around very quickly, and it goes into the Gulf, and that's the way it's able to get deep into the Gulf was from the Fujiwara. But as soon as it gets even close to Louisiana, the dry air kills it, and it dies off. So that's a great thing. Here's another look from the Gulf of Mexico. That way you can see exactly what does happen. It does show a tropical storm from Bahamas, and then it goes across South Florida, a tropical storm, which y'all can finally handle. And then it goes towards Louisiana and dies off. So that's a great thing. Now, if we go to the nav gem, and I'm almost done, guys. The nav gem shows a little bit different information. The nav gem shows that it strengthens as it goes across Cuba, and it goes all the way to, into South Florida as a 982 millibar. And it stays 982, and it goes up the spine for halfway of Florida. That's, that's, that's a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. And then it comes out uh, west side of Florida, goes into the Gulf. It gets down to 981 980 and it starts strengthening it gets down to 978 you can see it right here uh, this is a five day look right there 980 then it shows 978 and then it hits florida again and that's a possible hurricane the second time so we'll have to see that there definitely is a second uh, loop back to the east but we just don't know what the what the potential uh, impact and what the uh, energy and, and power is going to be of this the storm now, here's a look from the east coast from the nav gym so you can see everything with the, the storm. It does go up the spine of Florida. It goes into the Caribbean. I'm sorry, Gulf of Mexico. And then after the five days, this is the five days right here. It starts strengthening. And after the five days, it goes down to 978. goes back on the Florida as a hurricane and weakens uh, to 974. And then it weakens greatly to a, a tropical storm for Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. And then it moves out. So a couple of the models are showing that it will weaken. Okay, so that's a good thing. A couple of models showing it's going to go to the East Coast in a tropical storm. Now, uh, do me a favor, guys. Y'all are a great group of people. This right here this is a buddy of mine for a, quite a while now. His name's Sebastian. He has a Sebastian Weather Channel right here on YouTube. And he don't get many views, but I tell you, he does try and do some good forecasting. On, and you should check it out. He's a great kid. His video was good. It, I liked his video, and if anything, it, it definitely made me laugh. But if you want to see somebody that's really trying to be a meteorologist, go give him some support, please. His name is Sebastian Weather Channel. I would appreciate it. He's a great guy, guys. He, he really is. He's like 10 or 11 years old, and he has a heart of gold. And most of all, he loves Jesus, guys. And, and that's, that's awesome for young kids to... Be loving Jesus instead of being out there doing all kind of bad things. Because we all know how them kids are these days, right? So God bless you, Sebastian. You're on the right track, man. Keep going. I'd like to read y'all Revelations 13. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, 
having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there, were, there, were, there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given, given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming, coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth, exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven and on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of, of, of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should, should both speak and cause that as many as would, <clears throat> sorry, as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is a number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope y'all have a great day. I do appreciate everything y'all do. I'm going to put Sebastian's Weather Channel in the in the comments. I'm going to pin it up for y'all to go see. Please go support this, this guy. He's a, he's a really good-hearted kid, and he don't get any support. He gets smushed by the larger channel. So God bless you, Sebastian. God bless all of you out there. I hope you have a, a great and a very highly praised day. May the Lord be with all of you. All glory does go to God. Amen. Happy Friday.